A crane operator and two riggers were moving structural sections of a crane boom from a storage area to another area of the shipyard. The riggers were positioned at both ends of the structural sections while they were being transported. After the first section was delivered, the men noticed their original route taken to deliver the first section was now blocked by another working crane. Rather than wait for the crane to finish and move out of the way, they decided to take another route to the worksite. As they transported the second section, the two riggers focused their attention on keeping the load headed straight down the narrow path. All three workers failed to see the overhead power lines. The crane boom contacted these high voltage power lines. 7,200 volts passed from the power lines through the wire rope into the suspended structural section to the rigger who was still holding on to the section. The rigger was killed instantly. Let's look at some of the contributing factors that led to this fatality. En route to their work area, the crane traveling with the suspended load struck overhead power lines. A safe route was not established before the crane was moved. A designated person must establish a safe traveling route for cranes. Equipment must not be operated or positioned within 10 feet of an energized power line. The rigger holding onto the load provided an electrical path to ground. Always use non-conductive tag lines to control loads. When practicable, tag lines should be clean and dry. Riggers assigned to assisting the movement of the crane and load must ensure sufficient distance is maintained between the extended boom of the crane and power lines. Ensure riggers are adequately trained to recognize crane hazards. It is recommended that power lines be clearly marked and visible, as well as other overhead hazards. If workplace conditions change, another hazard assessment should be performed to determine whether previously unidentified hazards exist. Although not contributing to the fatality, it is recommended that loads be carried no higher than necessary, normally waist-high, to prevent contact with any other obstruction.